Okay, hello. Thief Gold. Yes, the first thief. Awesome. This is a wonderful game. But I haven't played it in so long that I... really almost don't remember how to do it, uh, per se. I, I don't remember any, you know, anything about it uh, much. Hey, but, I, but I remember I love it. Um, there are a few things that drive me mad. The... The, uh... Controls are ancient. And, uh, so we just have to work with them. <clears throat> but... Let's, uh, let's do this. And I'll, I'll go ahead and skip the training. Uh, there's nothing much to it. Um, let's get right into the main game. It's got impeccable handwriting, I'll say that. I have a simple job planned for this evening. Break into a guarded mansion, steal another fat nobleman's priceless trinket, and leave quietly. Lord Bafford is out of town, and rumor has it that the captain of his house guard went with him as a bodyguard. The time is ripe for a bit of burglary. Hamburg. The front gate of Lord Bafford's manor is always guarded, and the main street is far too exposed. But Cuddy tells me there's a better way in. Around to the side, more out of the way. One guard, and likely no witnesses to complicate matters. The piece Cuddy wants is a scepter. Silver, jewels, the usual adornments. It should command a high price. Bafford, like most of his kind, probably keeps his treasures on the top floor of the place, close to his heart, and far from his servants. No point in waiting. I have Cuddy's old sketches of the place and everyone who's going to be asleep inside already is. It's time to begin. Okay. All right, great. Sneak into Lord Bafford's manor. You know what, the thing that I love about the voiceover work and everything, it's the same, you know, the, the, the uh, uh, part three is my favorite, you know, Deadly Shadows. And, um, same voiceover work. I love it. Same same actors. Uh, okay, sneak into Lord Bafford's manor. Case the place. The well house and back is your best bet. If you can get in... Uh, sorry, if you can get the key from the guard, blackjacking or pickpocketing him would be quietest. Find Lord Bafford's prized jeweled scepter and redistribute it to yourself. Try to do it without causing too much commotion. I'll try. Take one of these. Order up. And we're good to go. Welcome, young Garrett. In the nearby rooms, I will instruct you in the various skills you will need to survive. Please stay in the entrance area to each room while I explain the room's purpose. When you are ready to begin your lessons, proceed down this hallway to the first room. Okay, so, um, <clears throat> here's the deal. I gotta tell you this, because... It'll get kind of confusing otherwise. Um, for some strange reason, Fraps doesn't record any of the, the uh, uh, you know, cutscenes and, and menus. Um, only in game. So, um, I'm going to have to pull off some trickery in order to record the cutscenes. I'm, I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do that yet, but I'll figure it out. Um, and what's the other thing? The controls are like insanely old-fashioned and 
Well, you know, it's, it's a very old game now. Um, wait a second before we get there. Um, okay, and, uh, what was the other thing? There was something else I wanted to, to mention. Okay, so the controls... Oh, yeah, we're in the training ground right now. I just thought, you know, why not? I'll just record the training session um, as well. You must learn how to move unseen. Stay in the shadows. Avoid the light. The indicator on your screen will tell you how visible you are. Try to reach the top of the platform without being seen. Running is, uh... <laughs> it's difficult. Um, I have to... Typically, it's just shift and, like, W, for instance. Nah, not here. It's, uh, literally shift and then W. Well done. I did not see you approach. Open this door to continue. When the door is near the center of your screen, it will light up, indicating that it is selected. To manipulate selected doors and other objects, use them. I forgot. Enter, uh, let's see. Yeah, that's right. So that's, uh, Good. Right Proceed down this corridor for your next test. Yeah, and then there's the map. Oh yeah, that's right. If I go into map, I don't think it'll record that either. Oh, what a pain in the fretch and ratchet. Let me just check really fast. Nope. Won't record the map. Okay. That's just great. Now you must learn to move quietly. Some surfaces are louder than others when walked upon, and moving quickly makes more noise than moving slowly. Listen to your own footsteps to hear how much noise you are making. The instructor will have his back turned. You must get to the top of the platform without being heard. It's pretty easy. Basically, those are metal plates. If you walk on them, then he'll hear you. Then I think that sneak is... Let's see what I have it. Uh, toggle. Let's see. Sneak is... Yeah, control, I think. And then crouch. I have C. Yeah, okay. Very good. I did not hear you traverse the room. Did you not hear me? Beyond this door is a hallway that will lead you to your next task. Okay, so like, if I just hold down shift now while pressing W, nothing. But watch this. Shift, W. <laughs> yeah. It's gonna be pretty interesting. Now get your weapons. To pick up objects, select them by centering them on screen until they light up. Then use them. Choose your weapon now. Try readying your sword and then your bow. You can always put them away again if you need your hands free. Oh yeah, what that's Now uh, let's go out to the courtyard for some target practice. Let's see, this these are items. Okay, now which one do I have assigned for Q is, okay, those are lean, R, F is toggle crouch, Z, on the world, Z, X, V is, <laughs> look up, <laughs> okay, let's see here, oh, I'll just have to, like, click my, I'm not gonna just go through and click my number keys, wait, sword, That's worthless. Oh, brightness. I just found brightness. Well, that's kind of interesting. Um, which one is the, the frickin'... Okay, it's not those. I can't remember how to... Uh, how to switch my, my weapons. Jeez. Uh, 
Oh, come on. Uh, you know what? I'm, I'm sorry. I, I gotta go into the menu to find out how to uh, go through my weapons, cycle through my... Oh, wait. No, that's not it. Yeah, retarded, I know. I'm sorry. Hang on. Oh, I'll be right back. Don't go nowhere now. Wait a second. Maybe it's a tildy. No, that just puts it away. Jeez. I gotta find out. I'll be right back. Slash. And, and, oh, that, that slash. Good gosh. I've got, okay, I see. Alright, alright. All right. Ready your bow. Knock an arrow and draw back the string by holding down the attack button. Make sure you draw all the way back, or your shot will not have full power. Take aim, and when you are ready to shoot, release your attack. See if you can hit one of these targets. Good shot. Keep practicing if you wish. When you are ready to proceed, approach the training dummy and ready your sword. That little one is kind of difficult. Better. Let's see, that would be somewhere right around here, I think. There we go. Swing at the target with the attack button. A quick tap will give you a slash. Move the tip of your sword to the left of the target for a left slash, and to the right of the target for a right slash. Hold the attack button down, then release for an overhead swing. Try both slashes and the overhead swing on the practice dummy. Good job, you're ready for a live opponent. To practice against your partner, enter the cobbled sparring area. <laughs> 